the coming months are going to be very critical for the Dallas Cowboys if Jason Garrett and co. hope to return to the playoffs. This front office needs to address some of the issues on both offense and defense, including the tight end group and the secondary. Although at this point, the biggest concern is the contract extensions for some of the Cowboys' top players. Entering the 2019 league year, the biggest concerns are pass rusher Demarcus Lawrence, quarterback Dak Prescott, and running back Ezekiel Elliott. Lawrence has spent the past two seasons playing under the franchise tag, and he will be a free agent on March 13, barring a contract extension. Prescott, on the other hand, is entering the final season of his rookie deal and will need a contract extension either before the season or immediately after in order to prevent him from reaching free agency. That being said, the biggest concern could very well be Elliott. The former first-round pick from 2016, fourth overall, is entering the final year of his four-year, $24.95 million deal he signed as a rookie and is in line for a contract extension of his own. Yes, the Cowboys could activate the fifth-year option on Zeke's deal, but that would only give him a pay raise for one more season. He needs a long-term deal in the near future, which is something that Cowboys VP Stephen Jones says the team is preparing for. Although the Cowboys executive won't give a timeline at this point, we've got it budgeted that we're going to pay Zeke a significant contract at some point. We certainly saw what Gurley got paid and we know that's probably where it starts, and we'll go from there, with Zeke's history of production since entering the league, it's expected that he will top Todd Gurley's four-year, $57.5 million extension he signed in 2018 that included a $21 million signing bonus and $45 million guaranteed. Gurley was viewed as the league's best running back at the time, but he still hasn't produced at the same level as the Cowboys' young star. There is a realistic scenario in which Elliott earns more than $45 million guaranteed from the Cowboys and becomes the NFL's highest paid running back which would be well deserved. Over Zeke's first three seasons in the league, he has twice led the NFL in rushing yards 2016, 2018 and has served as the motor that drives this high-powered franchise. He's topped 1,400 rushing yards twice and piled up 28 touchdowns on the ground. The only season in which Zeke didn't reach 1,000 yards, 2017, was the suspension-shortened year. Although he still rushed for 983 yards in 10 games. While many other teams have to change running backs based on down and situation, Zeke is one of the rare players that can stay on the field all three downs while serving as a dual-threat option. His acumen as a runner is well documented, but he is equally effective as a receiving option. In his career, Zeke has 135 receptions for 1,199 yards and 6 touchdowns and an average of 8.9 yards per reception. Zeke is truly dangerous no matter the situation, and he is well on his way to being a very rich man.